Starting to see some breaks in the clouds, some sunshine returning to parts of Star County and some areas in Hidalgo County. Now, that area is still going to kind of work its way eastward today. Uh, not everyone is going to see a lot of sunshine. In fact, I still think southeastern Cameron County out towards the island may stay with more clouds than sun this afternoon. But there's future castle showing that line kind of where it's at right now. Not really progressing a lot until we get to late afternoon. But notice even this evening still keeping some of those clouds right around southeastern Cameron County there and then starting to see some more roll in from the southwest. Now that is because of storms that are expected to develop out over the mountains of Mexico this evening. Highs today again all this contingent on how much sunshine we see peek through the clouds but upper 80s to near 90 degrees east mid and upper 90s as you go westward and those winds have been a little bit on the breezy side 30 to 35 miles per hour but we have had a peak wind gust now at Brownsville of 46 miles per hour so still can see some little spikes in the higher uh, wind gusts this afternoon for tonight then this is 11 o'clock now starting to see the clouds rolling from the east but it's out towards the west that we're going to look at as the cold front approaches there's a forecast to be a line of strong to severe thunderstorms coming out of Mexico into southwest Texas. There's Laredo heading northeast towards Catula. But as it moves further east, it kind of starts to fall apart on the southern end, which does kind of fall in line with what the current thinking is. Yes, we could see a shower or thunderstorm this far south into Star, Hidalgo, Cameron, and Willsey counties, but the better shot is going to be further north and that's why we've seen this before we have to kind of watch this closely because if it starts to develop further south then the computer models kind of update themselves and it kind of changes things all we know for sure right now is there will be a line of storms coming out of mexico the question is going to be how far south they're able to build because it will be very humid and there is enough instability out there to kick off some of those once the front moves through all that will come to an end. Drier air will kick in as well. General thunderstorms across the southeastern portions of the area, but from northwest Hidalgo County, westward into Star County, that's where we have the marginal, which is number one. That's the level one on the severe weather threat scale there. Uh, the better chances you see up the far uh, upper left hand corner of your screen, that yellow, that is where we have the slight risk and that goes all the way up to central and eventually we'll be moving into East Texas. But for the winds this afternoon, still seeing them at times gusting up or tomorrow rather gusting up around 35 to 40 miles per hour as that front moves through the drier air will be filtering in behind it. The cooler air will be coming in even later tomorrow. We do have a fire weather watch because of low relative humidity values, uh, strong winds and very dry vegetation for tomorrow morning morning to 11 o'clock tomorrow evening for the entire area. So all outdoor burning is uh, should be discouraged and prohibited for tomorrow. And a lot of us don't have that uh, ability anyway. There's your rain chances for tonight. Once this passes by, that's it for the rain, folks. And it's going to be a breezy week ahead. The one exception being Friday at 82 degrees and lighter winds, but tomorrow windy 87. But notice as that cool air starts to come in tomorrow evening, that's when things really change. So 57 Thursday morning, 84 for a high low humidity. Low humidity Friday, 82 starting out at 57. And 82 on Saturday with the still relatively dry conditions and 60 degrees. So give me kind of a nice end of the weekend of the weekend. If you can kind of handle the wind, uh, we're in pretty good shape, but we're going to watch closely about that midnight to three, four o'clock tomorrow morning is the kind of that timing. If any storms get this far south moving eastward, they'll be moving very quickly. But uh, of course, meteorologist Brian Hale will have the latest update coming up tonight at five, six and ten. And you can always count on our Valley weather. Don't app. forget the Valley Storm Team weather app. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. It's available uh, for the Android and iPhones. That's so right. Got you covered. Have it covered. Thank you, Jim.